Maddie, I'm going to be enforcing a um, hindrance to presser in the spirit of uh, having an effective and timely press conference. This is um, no way related to anything else, and an assumption would be dangerous to do so. Um, so I'll be issuing out warnings and uh, grievances if I feel like the, the press is dragging on a little bit in the spirit of trying to keep it entertaining and speeding it up. Understand, mate, and it is late in the day, obviously. <laughs> so, um, look, mate, it, it, a tremendous ball game, first of all. I mean, what, what are you overriding emo emotions right now? We've got a group of guys in there that believe they should be six and one. This is two games in a row that we've we've let our standards slip. You know, we we dropped this one. This is this is on us. Uh, Credit to Sydney, great job, but we felt like we should have walked out of here with the win. You know, we had, uh, there was a time our Sydney called where we were up 11 and we talked about that championship mentality, that mindset to do what Perth did to us at our joint. When they got up 10, they got up 20. When they got up 20, they got up 30 and having that mindset come out and they, they just go on their run. And it's, you know, we need, um, you know, like, you know, we had dudes in foul trouble. We had to do a better job defending without fouling. We got excitable with some of the things um, that we did defensively unnecessarily. We're jumping out shadows, uh, where for a good portion of that first half, we, we stuck to the game plan of sinking it in, and then suddenly we're chasing non-shooters down the perimeter like they're, you know, like they're Steph Curry out there. So it was, it was a lot of errors on our end. What happened when they went to that small ball line? You guys led by 11. They kind of went to that small ball, and that was when they, it seemed like they made their run. I mean, what, what did you see out there when they kind of went to that? Did you feel the guys made the correct adjustments to it? on the floor? The thing was we didn't have to make any adjustments. It wasn't like they put out knockdown shooters. Mm -hmm. So they were running the weave action and we're chasing them out on the perimeter for some reason. Dumb basketball, just dumb basketball. So, um, you know, guys in foul trouble, we had to rotate accordingly. Then we had dudes, like, I just need like, Shannon Scott played before for a quarter and a half and was, you know, veteran in his, like, uh, way of handling it. but. You know, it takes a little bit of gas off the pedal with him knowing that the next foul is going to be him sitting out. So, um, yeah, just silly errors. Silly, silly errors. Have you seen a situation where I think you guys had three straight travels at one stage of the, uh, in the period, fourth period? Did you feel like there was more? <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying, have you seen that situation when there was... Yeah, that you were called for that many travels. It's very similar to, I guess, last time we were here, halfway through the third, I think it was halfway through the third, we went on our... Uh, we went on a 9-0 run, and then there was five fouls called in succession, all in one possession. Foul, foul, mm -hmm. foul, foul, foul. Um, so have I seen something similar to it? Yeah, coincidentally, <laughs> it's in this building. Again, I'm not making any assumptions, and it would be dangerous to do so, but um, for a night that had some interesting moments, sure. As, as, obviously, as disappointed as you are, what, what positives do you take out of tonight's performance? that the guys feel it like you know there's two types of players I think in the league where you got dudes that are happy to be in the NBL collecting a paycheck and then there's guys that strive for greatness and they want more um, so right now we're sitting with a record of four on three where everyone wrote us off and that's that was their prerogative to do so but we've got a bunch of dudes in that room right now that are sitting there feeling like we should be six and one um, dropping the games that we did and they feel it and we're not just here collecting a paycheck these guys are striving for greatness so that's the positives i take is we recruited the right people thanks mate that's it for me thank you Myra. easy warning delay game uh delay yeah, sorry hindrance depressor <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear that as a badge of honour, Forty. Thanks, mate. Um, last time I spoke with you, um, you kind of joked that um, DJ Hope could uh, drop 51 game, but I think he scored 11 points in about three or four minutes late in that fourth, and he, he doesn't seem to, um, like, his emotions don't change. He's just ice cold by the looks of him. Is that what you've noticed from him? Oh, he's, he's super consistent. He, he lives for the moment, and, um, you know, that's why we brought him in. So... Um, he helped steady the ship with that composure and, and, and yeah, like that was a big time shot, which, you know, we need to work a little bit more on execution, but it's great that we got someone like him that can bail us out of some bad offense. And what about um, Sam? I mean, that was a pretty special first half from him. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, I agree. Tell us a bit about how, how he's developed. Yeah, you know, we, we've got to forget that he's a rookie. Um, you know, he's, he's coming along leaps and bounds, and this was a great first half for him. And, you know, emotions probably got the better of the second half, especially when um, some calls went against him. Um, so still trying to manage that and recognising that, um, you know, 
Um, you can be frustrated, but then it's a matter of moving on from that. So, you know, I'm excited to see um, him continue and, and, and develop the, the way he's, he's, he's tracking right now. Keanu, it was um, pretty fun to watch you go against um, the Kings big guys. Can you talk a little bit about the challenge? And, you know, obviously it was a bit frustrating to get in that foul trouble late, but um, can you tell us a bit about how you felt about your game? Um, you know, I don't really feel like it's a challenge to me, honestly. Um, you know, they have some good bigs, but I feel like I can hold my own, you know. I don't really feel like it's a challenge at all, honestly. But yeah, you know, I was in foul trouble and didn't get to play as much. And um, yeah, I felt like there'd be a different outcome if I was able to play the rest of the game. Keanu, just following on from that, how tough is it when you're sitting there for the last five or six minutes of the game, knowing that if you're out there, you could be having such an influence, but out of your control, you're taken out of the game. Uh, you know, it always hurts you know, when you get fouled out, especially when the game is so close, you know. Um, but, you know, you got to stay there for your team, be strong, and just encourage them on. And, uh, yeah, that's all I can do. Do you agree with Forty that you probably should be 6-1 and one right, right now? Oh, uh, 100%. We could all feel it in the room, like you said. Uh, you know, the boys are heartbroken and, um, you know, we just got to keep moving on, you know, keep learning from these experiences. And, um, yeah, we're going to be all right. This is just the start of the season. This front court that you're part of with, with Sam and, and DJ and then Majuk backing you up, yeah. it looks like you guys can, can, can be the best front court in the league, to be honest. Honestly, there's no one. There's no one like us. How deep we are, it's, it's incredible. You know, Nuki came out there and just killed it tonight. Um, Sam played awesome. DJ played awesome. Everyone played awesome, honestly. All us bigs, we all played well. Forty, can I get your thoughts on that front court? You've got a, a a great, you know, connection of guys there that all offer something different. They can all score, they can all shoot, they can all rebound, and they're all playing at a high level right now. Yeah, um, I I agree. I, I you know to add to a level, another level that was toughness. So, I mean, I cast my mind back to uh, last season where. Um, uh, actually, it was Sydney, and they were training at our venue because you know they they obviously flew out a little bit earlier, and in Cairns, and we were training on the back courts, and and they were on one of the courts, and it was right by our change room. And I remember just walking down the corridor, and um, Chase Buford was sort of you know preaching to his team like as they're scrimmaging. We definitely weren't spying. It was it was he was yelling it across the court. So. And it, on purpose, I feel like, to sort of add that layer of intimidation, which was a great move by them. But it was also a moment of um, realisation where he talked about our weaknesses in terms of where we were in that front court. And, um, you know, you sit there and you could hear it and you're like, man, he's right, right? So it gave us a bit of direction in, in a sense of who we wanted to bring in and who we wanted to target and, and, and cater to. And, um, you know, it's still a work in progress. It's, it's by no means perfect yet, but we're getting there. You go back home now on Friday night and you talked after the last home game that maybe you build up the pressure of playing at home a little bit too much to give your home fans something to mm. be happy about. Do you do anything different now leading into this game? I think we've got to do what... Uh, and again, it was my own fault in terms of breaking the process in which we went about the day-to-day -day, uh, and the game-to-game. -game. Um, you know, it showed in that last game at home against New Zealand, we played tight, you know, and, and that was on me. We did a great job defensively, but... You know, we play tight and, you know, I wear that one because, um, you know, I necessarily hyped up a game so early in the season. You know, we just got to play like we did, just play loose, play free, play for each other, um, not get caught up in things we can't control. Um, just play that cans, tie pans style of basketball and, um, you know, we, should, we want to come out the other end with a good result. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Chris, you're up. That was me. Beautiful. Thank you.